Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm. Yes, that's right, a men's product. Why is that? I'm sure all of you guys know by now. If you don't follow Nikki Tutorials, you really should. If you don't know who she is, you should find out. This is basically a trend that has been started by her. I can't give any credit to myself. I give full credit to her as all should all of you and be thankful and grateful to her for the rest of your lives. The fact that your makeup is going to look the shizzle thanks to her. Now, she has recommended and mentioned and used for the past year this product as a face primer for your makeup. How and why did that happen? Now, I was like, okay, so I'm gonna give it a go. I, I bought it from Superdrug where it's on offer at the moment for £3.50. I think in Wilco you can get it for like £3 something. It's on offer everywhere. It's really, really cheap. My other foundation primer that I currently use is the Laura Mercier foundation primer, which I actually do really love. But compared to this, bye bye Laura Mercier. Bye bye every single primer that I've ever tried that costs more than £5. Because none of them come even close to the amazingness of this product. I can't believe that something like this has been hidden for so long. But you know what I really love about the world in general and products in general, how something which is designated as a use for a certain thing can actually be so much more amazing for something else, but you wouldn't really think to try it. Thank you, Nikki Tutorials, you're amazing for bringing thus this into our lives. I bought this for the first time about two weeks ago. As I said, I was in Superdrug and I saw that it was there and it was on offer. And I remembered that she had mentioned how amazing this is as a face primer. So I tried it myself. Now, bearing in mind that we can't complain about things like the, the packaging and things like that because it isn't like meant to be a product that is used for makeup. It is for men who shave their face and then need something to calm their skin down afterwards. So it comes in a big bottle like this, which is 100 mil. Again, it cost me three pounds 50, so I bought another two. And it's just a pour out thing, so you can accidentally pour out too much. And it smells like, as I mentioned in my previous video, it reminds me of the smell. It takes me back to being at school walking past the boys' toilets and at the age of 14 or 15 where they're all going through changes and smell changes and that kind of thing, feel the need to cover themselves in head to toe in any kind of aftershave or body spray or links or cool water or whatever it is. This reminds me of that. So your face will smell like a man for about 10 minutes or so. The smell does wear off eventually. I actually really like the smell so it doesn't really bother me. And then I apply a fairly decent amount to my hand. I'm not gonna pour it out now because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Actually, you know what, I might as well. I've got loads of it. About that much. As you can see, it's liquidy, but it's not too liquidy. Stick that lid back on. And then I literally just rub my hands together and I rub it all over my face. I'm just gonna rub it all over my hands right now because it still smells good. And then as I'm doing it right now to my hands, it is very liquidy feeling, but then I can feel that it's starting to dry and tack down. So meaning it becomes slightly tacky, which is great. And then a couple of minutes later, you put your foundation on. It makes your foundation apply so much more smoothly and so much more better than anything that I have ever, ever tried. I'm honestly not going to try anything else ever again. Firstly, you can't get past the price of it as well. Even if there is something which is just as good as this, I can guarantee you it'll cost 15 pounds, 16, 17 pounds. You can't beat three pounds something, can you? Who, who? Nobody, nobody can. Now, I did try to figure out why it was that it is so good. And here's just the, this, this standard box. And the ingredients on it, I noticed one is glycerin. Now it's normally glycerin, which is pretty good for the skin. It um, helps with things like moisture and stuff like that. So it's the glycerin in it, which the foundation sticks to and holds onto, keeps oiliness at bay. From after wearing this, I do not have to block my skin all day. No word of a lie. Again, if you follow me on Snapchat, and I've mentioned this quite a few times since I bought it. Sorry, just kind of grabbed my hair. And it's just second to none. It's awesome. I can't recommend this highly enough. 10 out of 10, even more than 10 out of 10, 20 out of 20, 100 out of whatever. 
it's absolutely amazing. See, now my hands feel slightly sticky, but eventually this will dry down. It has 0% alcohol, so there's no burning involved, which is the only reason they've written that down is because it's for men who obviously shave their faces and you have that whole Macaulay Culkin screaming moment otherwise. So there's no alcohol in that at all. And the foundation just really sticks to the skin and stays there. Now, I've worn this for upwards of 16 hours. And even after that time, after getting up in the morning, going to work, being at work all day, running here, running there, running errands, coming home, eating food, lying down, getting up, all kinds of stuff. My foundation still looks sick is the only word I can use. It looks amazing. And I can see that the oil in my skin, the natural oils, is trying to get through. But the, this Nivea product is actually stopping it from happening. And instead of at about hour eight, when I'm starting to really, really shine, and by then I would have blotted my face at least twice, I just look a little bit glowy, like healthy kind of glow. And this actually stops your skin from getting really, really shiny. It's absolutely awesome. I don't really know what else to say. They don't really, it just says instantly soothes irritation, reduces skin sensitivity over time. So I guess it's great that it's a, it's a product for sensitive skin as well. So you're not going to suffer from any kind of breakouts or anything like that. And I'm assuming that in the long run, it will probably help in terms of toning your skin and that sort of thing because it is Nivea at the end of the day and they are a skincare brand. So I don't really think that there's much else that I can say. If you're looking for a face primer, get this. Even if you're not looking for a face primer, just get it anyway. It's only a couple of pounds. It's so cheap. And do what I did. Buy a couple so that you don't have to worry about running out, especially when they're on offer. Buy a few. Buy a couple. Yeah, so if you've got any more questions or comments or anything like that, please feel free to let me know below. Other than that, I hope that you enjoyed this review. I know it's a short and quick and sweet one. I know that a lot of you would have already known about this, but for those of you who don't, get this. You will not regret it. So, yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.